Hey, what's up? Welcome to Threadheads. This week, it's all about the bags. And not just any bags. Earth Day's right around the corner, which means we're talking recycled bags. So? We're here at a local street fair where we found the coolest bags we've seen so far. Let's check them out. Hi, I'm Carla Staley and my partner Gina Stavo. Uh, we make handbags from books, game boards, and also record albums. We find our materials through different thrift stores, garage sales, anywhere that we can find things that are recycled. Talking about recycled materials, we found all sorts of rad upcycled bags on Etsy. Like the always fashionable Kool-Aid and Capri Sun handbags. And these crafters found a great way to reuse all those old potato chip fast food and candy bags. And my personal favorite, the booby bag. Upcycled from women's bras. Last week, Shyla wrote in, I love shopping at Goodwill. But here in rural town USA, you don't really find much. It'd be nice if you went to Goodwill and picked out some horrible clothes and made them into something cool. So we're here at the neighborhood Goodwill, looking for the most strange and unusual things we could find in order to make something cool for Shyla. Look for cool patterns and things with lots of fabric. Turn this into something really cool. So we definitely ran across some pretty interesting stuff. And since we're talking about bags, we're gonna show you how to transform some of our finds into cool totes. All right, so we want to turn these into a purse. First, we need a pattern. I found a simple one through Google on tinyhappy.typepad.com, but altered the measurements to fit the garments I want to use. Now measure and cut out your own pattern. Use that pattern to cut two pieces for the lining and two pieces for the exterior. Take those two liner pieces and overlap them, putting right sides together, and sew a seam down both sides. Then open it up and sew a seam along the bottom, leaving an open gap so you can turn the purse right side out later on. Now we're gonna do something called squaring. No, not swearing, squaring. Pinch a corner of the bag into a triangle shape and sew a seam from here to here. Cut off the excess and do the same to the other corner. Now repeat all the steps you just did to the liner for those exterior pieces. The only thing that's different is you're gonna sew the bottom seam all the way across. Hooray! You've now got your inside and outside complete. Put one inside the other so that the right sides of the bag are facing inwards against each other. Pin them together and sew a seam around the top of the bag and up both sides of the straps, making sure to leave the straps open at the top. Once we've got it all sewn up, turn the bag right side out by pulling it through the gap in the liner and smooth it out. Now you can hand sew that gap closed. Now even up those straps and sew them closed by putting the right sides together and sew that side. Then tuck in the other side and sew that closed. And yippee, you have a new reversible bag. Shyla, thanks for the question. And if you want, send us your address, we'll send you the bag. Threadheads Express. So, uh, why do they call you Thread? Well, uh, I'm Sock. Socks are made of threads. So I... You know, it's a pretty appropriate name, I like to think. Why do they... Why do they call you Banger? <laughs> oh jeez, why do I even ask? <laughs> You're the perviest sock I've ever met. Hey! Hey! Pervy! <laughs> While out in New York the other week, we caught up with tote bag extraordinaire Meg Allen, up in Brooklyn. I'm Meg Allen, and I run Enderby Designs. I make tote bags, purses, aprons, lovely things for you and your home. I like to find really cool, rare, vintage pieces of fabric and giving new life and um, a new use to an old object. Change happens in very, very small steps, so if the group of people that Enderby, you know, affects just weaves a little bit of that earth-friendly awareness or, you know, repurposing idea into their subconscious just a little bit, then I feel good about what I'm doing. I also have a style guide, Nest, from everything film, fashion, furnishings, and that's EnderbyNest.com. Hey guys, my name is Chris and I'm a crafter. You guys asked for anything recycled and anything creative, so here it is. Pop cam tabs made into 
necklace, and earrings. A simple way to recycle your old pop cans. And different cool new funky, funky kind of looking jewelry. See you guys, it's been Chris, and have fun with your beating. See ya. Sweet video, Chris. Now maybe you guys can make your own pop top necklace to match your new bag. And remember, if you have any questions or other DIY projects you're working on, record it and upload it. And don't forget to check out the links page. There's tons of cool stuff for you there to check out. See you next week.